from Syria come home, or will you send them to other military Well, they're going to be sent initially to different parts, uh, get prepared, then ultimately we're bringing them home, yeah. We're bringing our troops back home. I got elected on bringing our soldiers back home. Now, it's not very popular within the Beltway, because, you know, Lockheed doesn't like it, and these great military companies don't like it. It's not very popular. And outside the Beltway, my largest cheer in Dallas, I had 25,000 people close in that arena, a record crowd. I had so many people outside of the arena, thousands. My largest cheer that night was two things. We're building the wall. That's number one. And number two, and probably tied for number one, was we're bringing our soldiers back home. That was our largest cheer in Dallas. Great place. Great state, Texas. Tough state. They, they're tough. When I said we're bringing our soldiers back home, the place went crazy. But within the Beltway, you know, people don't run. Like it. It's much tougher for me, It'd be much easier for me to let our soldiers be there, let them continue to die. I go out to Dover and I have to, I, I meet parents. It's not a pleasant thing. It's the most unpleasant thing I do. Most unpleasant thing I do. When I see that big cargo plane open and I see those coffins get rolled off, or when I go over to Walter Reed Hospital, where the doctors are incredible, by the way, Saving people that could have never been saved even five years ago. You know that. Uh, but those people are horribly wounded. Horribly, horribly wounded. Wounded warriors. Uh, it's the toughest thing I do. Toughest thing is sending letters. I send many letters home to parents. And I speak to parents. But I send many letters home to parents. Their, their son or daughter has been killed over in the Middle East. For what? For what? There are times to fight, and there are times not to fight. There are times to be smart. 